Hello everyone, welcome back to Do This Kitchen. It's nice to have you all here again today. I want to say a very big thank you to all those who are subscribed to my channel, all those who watch, like, share, leave their comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. And for those who have yet to subscribe to my channel, please find it in your heart. Subscribe, like, and share with families and friends. Today I'll be making fried yam and pomosas and my first ingredient is of course my yam and that has been peeled and washed and I'm putting it in water because I don't want the color of the yam to change and that's my pomo meat which is also the cow skin and that has been washed and that's my ginger my garlic my onions and also my tomatoes and that's my habanero pepper and i have there my red yellow and orange sweet peppers and that's my thyme my curry my parsley i have my salt my maggi cube and also my no seasoning and lastly my olive oil so we'll start by frying the yam. I have on the stove my canola oil that I want to use to fry the yam and that's the yam there. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in that yam salt and I'm putting a three quarter of a tablespoon of salt inside that water. I like to do that because I want to season my yam before i fry it it tastes better and now what i'm doing is i'm blending my tomatoes my sweet peppers and my ginger my garlic my onions uh, while waiting for the oil the canola oil to eat up so i can start frying the yam So I'm just gonna blend that roughly. And you see, and I finished blending that and the canola oil is well heated and so I'm frying the yam. You can cut your yam any style you want, any shape you want. I wanted it that way and that's why I cut it like that. And so I'm putting my yam in uh, the canola oil and I'm frying. There is something with frying of yam I will show us later because so many of us don't know how to fry yam. But try my, my, my method and you will like it. And so now while the yam is frying, I'm boiling my uh, pomo meat, that's the uh, skin, the cow skin, and I put in the um, my garlic, ginger, and um, green paste, and also salt. And now I'm putting in my chicken seasoning. So I'm just gonna mix that up properly. And cover it and let it boil for about 15 minutes. So you see, that's my yam and it's frying but what i'll do is i'll put in one quarter of a cup of water in the oil in the olive or in the uh, canola oil that i'm frying my yam with and what does this water do it makes it um, it makes it soft inside and crunchy outside it gives it a very nice taste and remember that i seasoned the water with um, salt initially before i started frying the yam this water also helps um, season the yam properly and so you see how it looks i'm just um, changing you know uh, the side of uh, the yam so that the ones up the side up can also go down and fry properly and that's my pomo meat that i'm just checking now 
to make sure that it's getting done properly but it, I'll leave it again for about five minutes and you see my crunchy fried yam is ready that's the first batch crunchy on the outside and soft and tender inside because of the water that I put in there that is how fried yam is made that's how dundu what we call it in yoruba in nigeria is dundu that's how dundu is made you have to put in some water while frying dundu don't just fry without the water so now my pomo meat is done so i'm taking that off the stove and i will start by uh, frying my sauce So again, you see, I'm putting in another water of a cup of salt water or seasoned water. So you see, just to make sure that the yam is properly cooked, moist inside and crunchy outside. So now I'm starting with the sauce and the first thing I'm putting in my uh, pot is the olive oil. And like you all know I do not fry my oil so I'm putting in the onions so I'm just gonna mix that up and ensure that it is a bit um, light gold and then put in my um, roughly blended pepper as you can see me doing right now So I'll mix all that up. And now season with salt. So I'm using half of a teaspoon of salt and then three quarter of a teaspoon of chicken seasoning. And that's um, a teaspoonful of parsley flakes and that's a quarter of a teaspoon of curry and also a quarter of a teaspoon of thyme. I'm mixing that up and I would also put in one maggi cube. mix and mix properly and then I'll put in my pomo meat. I'm putting in the pomo meat right now because I still want it to um, cook more to become more tender and because the pepper is not yet cooked it's still fresh I'm mixing everything together and I will cover and both are gonna uh, cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and everything is going to taste, taste perfect and you see that's the last batch or the second batch of my uh, fried yam and this is well fried properly and you see after about 10 to 15 minutes you can see my pomo sauce is th thick and ready to be eaten you see how it looks very very nice no water looks beautiful and it tastes wonderful and you can see my don't do my fried yam that also looks really good and see this is the end result of my fried yam and pomosa so i want to say a very big thank you to all who, who watched this video till the end thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel i appreciate you and for those who have yet to please find it in your heart to subscribe like and share with families and friends like i always say only you determine your happiness so please be happy live life at the fullest enjoy life and be safe and healthy till we meet again sometime soon God bless you real good. Bye.
Hey, 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 hey,